All right, so the next piece in our tutorial, our CRUD tutorial, is we did create, we did read, and the next one is update. So C R U, and next we have update, and then we'll do delete in the next video, okay? So here is our update. Let us start by, I'm going to paste this code here, and we're going to use it later, okay? So up here, you can ignore it for now, and we'll get into how to create it later, okay? So I'm going to, I took it from an old project, so I'm going to go down here now. And instead of just showing these blue things like this, instead what I want to do is I want to actually write, um, instead of having that, we'll put a button, okay? And so where is the for each? Right here. So instead of for each like that, what we're going to do is we're going to say for each, we'll actually create a button, okay? And that button, its content will be that H stack, okay? And the action, what we're going to do is first we're going to say, at state var show sheep is equal to false. Okay. And then we'll say action self dot show sheep dot toggle. Okay. And then actually we'll just say equals true. I like that. I just prefer that because I know it's going to do the right thing every time. And at the but at the bottom of here, what we'll do is where we have that, we'll say dot sheet and is presented and we'll say show sheet and we might even use self dot okay and then I will do that and what will the sheet show us and the sheet will show us a v stack okay and that v stack is going to have let's just put a text actually we'll say modify rating Okay, and the next thing it'll have is actually let's just run that first. Let's save it and let's run it. Let's see what happens. So each one of those uh, blue areas now is a button, and it'll open up a sheet that we'll be using to update. So here's what we got. Once it chooses to hurry up a little bit. Well, that's working. The next thing we know we're going to be putting on there is a button. Okay. And that button, here we go. So I can click on any of these, and now it opens up exactly what I was looking for. Okay. There we go. But for some reason, I can't seem to see the text anymore. So let's close that. Let's try a different one. And actually, it's a very funny reason that we didn't even think about. Uh, it's because the text is there, but it's blue. So I'm going to forego what I was about to start doing. And I'm just going to go to the text here. I'm just going to write dot foreground color dot white. The text is literally there, but it's blue because that's the default. So uh, since I know that was working, I'm still going to go ahead and put my button. Okay. And I'm going to have that button have an action of put that action right there. And I'll say text. Uh, that will say will put update here. The text of that button will say update rating okay and we'll save and we'll run it there we go they're right there add rating we added a rating of nothing so we can add as many of those as we want but now I can click on one I'm going to have my modify rating, my update rating, okay? And what we're going to do is this update rating button, its actions will be the following, okay? First thing we're going to do, actually, first we'll finish what's going to go inside of this uh, VSAT, okay? We're going to put a text field. You know, this is really, you know, this is my preference of how I feel like doing it, okay? So I'm going to actually reuse these text fields here, okay? And... I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them inside the V stack. And 
Okay, so you self dot. You do need to do that because we're in closure. Self dot. Okay, and whenever you click this button, I know for a fact that the last two things I need to do are going to be uh, show sheet equals equal false. Okay, and I definitely know that I'm going to make. Um, we're going to take these right here. Okay. And we're going to change that to uh, be equal to nothing in the restaurant name and the restaurant rating. Okay. And so what I'm going to do next is before I can even technically oh, false. Sir. Before I execute those, I only want to execute those at the end. So for now, I'm going to comment them out. Okay. And I'm going to look at that function that I put on the side for a second. Okay. And let's grab that function. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in here. I'm still gonna leave it commented out just for one moment. One thing I wanna do is actually, I wanna make sure that my restaurant, when I, I wanna make them also equal to empty uh, when I actually show this for the first time. Otherwise, if I had started creating a new one, and then, so let's pretend I started creating something new here, and then I click on one of them to modify them. Well, these text fields will actually be pre-populated with the data that I was using to create a new restaurant review, okay? That's because I chose to share the binding variables because I chose to literally make two text fields and they I have some sharing of that binding variable. So that that's something that for the con for the for the purposes and the context of this tutorial it's kind of irrelevant, but it's in the future you wouldn't want to do that, okay? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to where we have this true and I'm just gonna put those there. And I'm gonna uncomment that. So what I'm saying is, before you show me this this modal, the sheet, just clear that clear that information out, okay? And so I'll save it, okay? Then I'm gonna put this button action. I'm gonna go here and just uncomment all that, okay? And so the data, we're gonna do the same thing we did here. So we're gonna say. Uh, rating dictionary. We're going to keep this part. Okay. Actually, it looks almost identical. The two functions look nearly identical, actually. And, and, and the reason it does is because they are identical minus one little piece. And it's this right here, this merge function. Okay. So actually, what I can realistically do is I can just take, I can get, I'll, I'll keep this commented out as I had it. And instead, I'll go down here where I know this function works in its entirety. Okay. I'm going to take all that, let rating dictionary, I'm going to copy all that. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up here. And the only thing I'm going to change here is dot dot. So we have set data, comma, merge, Let's like merge true. Okay, and there's one other thing we need to change. So when we had our restaurants, one thing that we weren't doing was where is it? When we are creating our rest or we're updating our, our uh, reviewed restaurants array up here, we're populating it from stuff from the uh, database. So what we want to do actually is let's look where we had that. We had this append function right here, okay? So where we had this, if you look around line 128, if you're working with me in real time, I'm actually gonna use some, do something new here. I'm gonna come here and say ID, and I'm gonna say it's equal to document, Okay, uh, and we need documents, then I dot document ID. Okay. And so that's a string though. So I need to turn that into UI, UUID and I can do that by here and say UUID and then we'll say from UUID string and then I'll put that right there okay let's see what it says and if that doesn't work then I'll do a fresh UUID realistically if it doesn't work then we got a bigger problem so I'll save it okay and what I'll do is I will go over to um, 
where we had the for each right here and where we're using this this new function and when we're creating this h stack or when we're creating that that sheet that's going to be shown i'm going to put modify rating just so i can keep myself in check i'll say um i'll put right there modify rating which one am i looking for i'm looking for this restaurant.id okay so let's look at everything we just did let's look at those changes we did okay One big change I'm going to make before I start doing any modifications is so actually if you look if I click on one of these there you go modifying rating blah 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 okay well big thing I need to make sure I do here okay is if I if I click this right here I'm actually going to create watch this if I write potato okay actually let's do this I'm going to click on J Alexander's okay and I'm going to say potato. Then I'm going to say tomato. Then I'm going to say update rating. What you find is that I created a new one with potato and tomato, and I actually never used J Alexander. I never modified that at all. And that's because I didn't modify ratings and then slash the um, uh, the the item with the UUID of J Alexander's. I created a new UUID and a whole new entry. So what I should be doing is this one here should say should say this restaurant.id so now it's going to go and try to modify it and it's going to set the new data accordingly so if i run it again now let's see what it says let's even change this to updated for the next time it runs okay so now if i click on j alexander so watch this if i write six down here i say update rating and i close this up unfortunately we still created a new one so why did it do that? So the reason it did that is actually because of the way that these sheets are made. So if we look at the sheet that we just created, right, let's find that sheet. So here's that sheet. Um, the way it works is they're actually created immediately. So this the sheet is created the minute I create the button. So what I should do instead is I should actually come up here and say, I should create one more state variable, okay? And it's going to be called rest or let's say rating underscore ID. Okay. And it's going to be equal to just an empty string. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to say when I scroll down right here, the ratings are actually going to be equal to that rating string or that rating ID. That's the one that I'm going to use when I'm finding the file that I'm going to modify or the entry that I'm going to modify. And then what will happen is right when I click on this button to show that modal, I'm going to say self dot rating ID is going to be equal to. And then that one will say this restaurant dot ID. Okay. And so then oh, that's going to be UUID. So I'm going to say dot UUID string. Now if I save it and I run it, Let's take a look at what that does. We got one error here. I'm just going to come here and say self dot. We're going to closure. Save it. Run it. All right. Build succeeded. So now, if I were to click on this one, for instance, McDonald's, okay, I can go here and I can say rate this restaurant and I can say the restaurant will be and then I'll say 9. Update rating. Now if I check, McDonald's has, well McDonald's actually went away, but it did successfully change its rating. And the other thing I need to do actually right here is I need this, I need to get rid of that. And that one needs to say self.rating underscore ID. Okay. And the reason that it did that is because what I need to do is the minute I click on the button, instead of, if you remember, we cleared out the content, but what I actually need to do is the minute I click on the button, it needs to change those values to this restaurant dot, and then it'll be name, and then this one will say this restaurant dot rating. Okay, so the point is that we're trying to set the state variables equal to the restaurant that we chose, and so that way, when I know if I run it, save it, run it, okay. 
what you'll see is, let's go ahead and pick the first one here, okay? And I'm gonna say, that one is gonna become, let's say Ruby Tuesdays, okay? And I'm gonna give it a rating of three. Update rating, okay? One thing I should do in that update rating function is I should say when successful, I'm just gonna say uh, show or show sheet equals false, okay? So that we don't have to do that every time. But now Ruby Tuesdays is equal to three, okay? Now if I click on Ruby Tuesdays, just so you know that I use the same exact one, I can say Ruby Tuesdays is a four. And what do I see? Ruby Tuesdays is a four now. So it successfully modified that one. I can choose potato, tomato, okay? So specificity of this mouse kind of sucks, but there we go, potato, tomato. And I'll say potato now has a rating of 4.3. Update rating, all right? There we go, potato has a rating of 4.3. I'll save this and I'll run it so you can actually get the auto hide now, okay? And now, I'm gonna change this to update it as well. It's not that important. That's for us. So I can click here and I can say, uh, whatever, I had rated a random restaurant nine that had, this wasn't a real restaurant. They didn't put a name for it. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get rid of that nine. I'm gonna make that a two. I'm, I'm gonna leave it a nine for a second, okay? I'm gonna say add restaurant. And that's gonna be uh, Chipotle, okay? Update rating. Chipotle has the nine now. I'm gonna make a Chipotle two though, all right? So there it is. Now I can go through and modify all these so these look like real restaurants. Okay, and when you show up for the next video, I will. Or actually, when you show up in the next video, instead of doing that, we'll go through and delete all these random ones. That's going to be the next move. We're going to work on the last part of a CRUD series. Create, read, update, delete. Okay, so we finish create, read, and update. And next, we're just going to do delete, and that's the end of the series. Now, at the end of the series, when I finish that last one, I will upload this entire project onto the link in the description so you can download the finished files. It'll be the finished project will be able to create, read, um, and then update and delete. And then there will be a bonus video that will also have its own separate files. And that will be all about Firestore. Okay? All right. I'll see you in the next video.